So I want to talk about how to leverage publicity because sometimes people will say things like, oh, I was mentioned in an article, but nothing happened to my business. Or I did one podcast interview and my business didn't totally blow up. And so it's kind of like if you're doing a launch and you're saying, I sent one launch email and nothing happened. You know, there's like a process to getting known, being seen, and it requires, you know, multiple actions. So when you get the publicity, you know, there's a couple of things you want to do right away. So one thing is you want to update your bio. So in an ideal world, your bio will have at least three media hits of places that you've been featured. And you'll just pick the ones that are the most well-known or relevant to your brand. So if you're uh, in the business space, maybe it would be, you know, uh, Forbes, Inc. and Business Insider would be great, you know, media hits to have. So that's one thing. And not only does it go on your website, but when people introduce you for um, maybe another podcast or on stage, they're going to use that credibility marker, uh, which boosts your brand. Another thing is to update your website with those media logos and especially where people are making decisions or taking some kind of action. So, you know, you'll see people when they are promoting their webinars, you know, they may have a strip of media logos um, right by the opt-in button or maybe it's on the sales page or, you know, another key place on your website. But make sure to have those logos there because no one's going to know that you were featured in these places unless you tell them. They might see it once, but you have to make it front and center. And then another um, tip that I like to share is including the publicity you get in your email nurture sequence. So that way, you know, when people are joining your list, they're so excited to learn about you. Um, they are, you know, most interested in the beginning to discovering who you are, what you're about. And so that's a time to roll out the red carpet and share your key publicity pieces that showcase you as an expert. And I like to think of publicity, you know, really as a form of content marketing. It's putting your content out there, but it's on this third party platform that gives you additional expertise, you know, credibility. And that way you're kind of automating, um, you know, your publicity by putting it in the nurture sequence. So those are three ways. Um, and then I have two others to share, but I'll just kind of pause for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, like uh, those feel like uh, those are necessary things that you need to be doing if you're a business owner, you have um, be adding them to your website, updating your bio uh, and uh, it, just letting people know because this thing happened, um, you know, this feature on TV or article in the newspaper maybe happened at one point in time and then it's, it's news, it, it disappears. You've right. got to almost turn it evergreen. Exactly. Yeah, I love that. I love how you said that. Yeah. And that's so, up to us. Yeah. Is it is it just like the, the logos as well? Is there other things that we can do to, to share parts of it um, on, on on your website or in your bio itself? Like how should we be doing it? Um, is it is it just the logo? Yeah. So, you know, it depends because you can certainly have, like, if you have certain interviews where you feel like, you know, people really will fall in love with you when they hear it, then it may make sense to include a page on your website that has links to those. Um, but some people just prefer to include the article title or the podcast title and people can Google it because like, let's say, you know, it's 2018 or 2019 and a lot of your media is from 2010. If people click and it's all from 2010, it's not going to feel as relevant. So in some cases you may not want to include the direct link it really depends mm, that's good because then the the logo really is is timeless isn't it there's no specific date stamp on there Exactly. Yeah. And then another thing that I like to encourage people to do is to use their publicity with their launches. So, you know, with my own launches, I'll typically do a webinar, but we all know, you know, if you've done a webinar before that not everyone on our list will register for the webinar. And even if they do, they're not necessarily going to show up. And so you want other forms of content that people can consume to feel like they really know you, right? So some people do a three part video series. Um, you know, I'm going to be doing that for the first time ever, but one of the easier things to do is go on some podcasts and you know with these podcasts typically you've got you know 30 minutes or maybe an, even an hour to talk about your expertise your success stories you know share your tips and things like that and what I did for one of my launches um this was a launch for a program called Get Known Get Clients, which is a six month program. As I said to people, you know, I know it's a big decision to decide whether to enroll in this six month experience with me. Um, you know, you may or may not have checked out the webinar. So what I want to do is share two interviews, in depth interviews I did that where I really go in depth about X Y Z topic. 
and people watch that and I had people say to me you know between the webinar and the interviews I felt like I really got to know you and that made me feel more confident to jump into this program with you um, and so you know and also when you're having a launch when people see that you're getting publicity that there's buzz that there's people interviewing you it creates a lot more excitement about around your brand which can help with sales